Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, number patterns and let us look at this first question which says 2, 5, 8 and 11 is an arithmetic sequence. Determine the first term that will be greater than 2012. Firstly, we must take note that this is an arithmetic sequence. <clears throat> in an arithmetic sequence, the first difference is constant. So, for AS, arithmetic sequence, first difference is constant and don't forget the formula is Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 times T. So let us work out the first difference. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And there we go. We have constant first difference. Determine the first term that will be greater than 2012. Therefore, Tn must be greater than 2012. So let's take our formula, Tn. So therefore now we are going to have A plus N minus 1 times D greater than 2012. So let's substitute all our information. The first term A is equal to 2 and D is equal to 3. So we have 2 plus n minus 1 times 3 greater than 2012. So basically now we are just solving a linear inequality. So let's open this brackets out. 2 plus 3n minus 3 greater than 2012. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we get 3n minus 1 greater than 2012. 3n greater than 2012 plus 1 is 2013. So therefore, we'll have 2013 divided by 3 and that's equal to 671. So therefore, n must be greater than 671. Therefore, we can conclude it's the 672nd Okay, so that answers the first question. The first term that will be greater than 2012 is the 672nd term. The next question it says, calculate the sum of the first 671 terms of the sequence. The sum. For sum to n terms of arithmetic sequence, there's two formulas that we have. Sn equals to n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d and we also have sn equals to n over 2 to a plus l so if we know the last term then we can use the second formula okay calculate the sum of the first 671 terms of the sequence if we look carefully it's linked to the first question therefore if we have to sift out our information we can clearly see that the number of terms that we have n is 671. We know that our last term here, if you look at this, 671 will equal to, the 671st term will be 2012. So Tn, which is equal to the last term, is 2012. So we can actually use that formula. It's equal to 671 over 2, to a is 2 plus the last term is 2012. This would now be 6, 7, 1 over 2 into 2 plus 2012. 675,000. 697 and learners that is our solution quick recap we are dealing with arithmetic sequence and in an arithmetic sequence the first difference is constant and we looked at sum to n terms of an arithmetic sequence just one note if we use sum to n terms this formula we would also get the same answer i'll catch you in the next video